In this video, I want to walk through and show you how we can find the exact value for the sine of 39 degrees. Well, we're going to go ahead and use the difference identity for sine, which says the sine of, and we have two angles A and B, and we're going to be subtracting them, and I can expand this as the sine of A, which is the first angle, times cosine of B, which is the second angle, and then minus sine of B times cosine of A. You'll also see we have four values up here that ultimately we're going to be using and plugging into this formula. And these four values uh, I have worked out from scratch in other videos, so we're not going to rework them here simply for the sake of time and brevity. And so these four videos where I have worked these values out from scratch, I have linked uh, to in the description to this video, so you can go ahead and check those out. And I think these are much more interesting to see than uh, maybe perhaps this one, because we're just going to be plugging values in and simplifying. But uh, let's go ahead and do that. So for this one, we're going to use the sine of, and we're going to use 75 degrees minus 36 degrees, because 75 minus 36 is going to equal 39 degrees. So using this expansion, we're going to say the sine of 75 degrees times the cosine of 36 degrees minus the sine of 36 degrees times the cosine of 75 degrees. Well, okie dokie. Well, we see here that all the values that uh, we are being given are all sine values, but I have a couple, of, a couple of cosines right here, but that's okay. So we know that sine and cosine have a really nice relationship. The cosine of 36 degrees is going to be the same as the sine of the complement of 36 degrees, which is 54 degrees, because 36 plus 54 equal 90. So any complementary angles, if we take the cosine of one and the sine of the other, they'll have the same value. So I can rewrite this expression in all sines as the sine of 75 times the sine of, well, the complement here is going to be 54 degrees minus the sine of 36 degrees times the sine of, and the complement of 75 degrees will be 15 degrees. So you'll see all four of these sine values are right up here. So we're going to go ahead and put them all together, multiply and simplify as much as we can, and then we'll go through and we use a calculator to kind of make sure that what we have is the sine of 39 degrees. Okay, so the first one is the sine of 75, which is this value here. So we'll say the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2, all over 4. And we're going to multiply that by the sine of 54 degrees, which is this value. So it's the 1 fourth times the uh, square root of 5 plus 1. From that, we're going to subtract this product. So we'll start with the sine of 36 degrees. So it's the square root of 2 over 4 times this a radical expression right here, and we'll multiply that by the sine of 15, which is the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2, all over 4. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, make some room here. So, we got a couple things going on. We noticed that we have a 4 and a 4 in the denominator, and it's actually the same in both places. So, we'll put that over a 16. But I'm going to go ahead and factor out a square root of 2, and I'll show you why here in a second why I might want to do that. So what I'm left with then is the square root of 3 plus 1 when I divide that square root of 2 out of here. And then, of course, uh, we have this, the square root of 5 plus 1. Okay, so here's the first part. From that, we're going to subtract. And I'm going to go ahead and once again factor out a square root of 2 here to multiply with the square root of 2 that's here. So the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is a real 2, which then I can cancel with uh, one of these 2's down here in the denominator. Ultimately, I'm going to be left with a 1 8th out here, and then I'll have, I'll put this one first, so the square root of 3 minus 1, and then multiplied by this uh, radical expression. So I'm saying that this expression right here is the exact value for the sine of 39 degrees, Okay, so let me tell you why I did this with the whole square root of 2 business. So I pulled it out here so I can have this nice fraction as a constant here and here. And then I had the square root of 3 plus 1 and the square root of 3 minus 1. So we had this kind of similarity going on. 
and then we had our square root of 5 plus 1, uh, and then it's just radical expression. Okay, so we kind of have nice little patterns kind of going on. And if you watch any more of these videos, like the sine of 33 degrees or something like that, you would see uh, lots of nice patterns in these sine values that we have. All right, so we have this expression, and I have stated that this is the exact value for the sine of 39 degrees. No decimals, no rounding, just a couple of irrational numbers that have been subtracted from one another. So let's go ahead and use a calculator and see if indeed this works. Okay, so here's my calculator ready to go. So I'm going to use the inverse of sine, so second sine, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this entire expression in and then see if I get 39 degrees at the end. And I hope so, huh? So we'll start by saying the square root of 2 divided by 16. And we're going to multiply that by the square root of 3 plus 1. And multiply that by the square root of 5 plus 1. And then from that we're subtracting. We'll start with our 1 eighth. And then the square root of 3 minus 1. And then this... A radical expression. Oh, let's uh, delete that one and get out of there real quick. There we go. Okay, so here we go. And 39 degrees we do have. So, this is the exact value for the sine of 39 degrees. And we got it by using a subtraction identity here for sine, or the difference identity, and also these four values for sine that we found in other videos, and these four values of sine have been found from scratch, and those videos, you'll find links for them in the description for this video below.